Hi everyone, so in this video I'm doing a watercolor speed paint and uh, the watercolors that I'm using are the Winsor Newton Cotman watercolors and I'm just using some Strathmore yellow series watercolor paper. It just comes in this yellow pad. Um, it's my second time using this paper and I'm, st I'm still kind of undecided uh, of whether or not I like the texture of this paper. It's kind of like a horizontal lines across the page rather than like a like a random paper texture that's kind of even on all sides. You can tell it's like very horizontal, but I think it's interesting anyway. Um, I think I would prefer one that's more more regular of a pattern rather than just like horizontal stripes, but uh, this, this paper is working for me pretty well so far. The watercolor paper I used before came in the brown pad and this is the yellow one, so I'm not sure like what the difference is, but they're both um, cold press, which I prefer. I like the texture. I've never really tried hot press before, but I just like it when the watercolor paper has texture to it, especially when I want to add pencil crayons on top of the watercolor, which is what I did with this picture. And I actually um, recently created an intro for my videos. Uh, I did the visual for it and it took me a really long time to decide on what kind of music I want to have behind the visual. Um, it's the song I found, like I was sifting through a bunch of royalty free music, trying to find a song that most people don't use, like one that I haven't really heard before. And I settled on a song that I that I used a couple times in my videos before. And I just took the 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 beginning of it and just put that to the visual that that I made for the intro but let me know what you think of it I might end up changing the song that goes with it in the future but for now I think that's how it's gonna be and if I have a video that begins with music maybe I'll make the intro um, start with the music that I'm gonna be using for the intro of the video so it's like all the same song just so that it's like separate from the rest of the video so you know it's the intro music and then the video starts I think that would that would work out better but yeah I don't know uh, getting carried away with that but okay so the drawing I'm doing um, I just based it off of jellyfish um, which I think are really really pretty if as long as you don't touch them because they hurt I have been stung by jellyfish before uh, when I was in Nova Scotia I picked one up because I was being really smart and I picked it up in like it was a small one and it was in my hand in water and then when I put it on the I put it back on the beach because when they get washed ashore, um, w w when the tide goes out, a bunch of jellyfish were just on the shore of the beach. And um, we were kind of looking at them and they were like drying out and we felt bad for them. So we were trying to pick them up and put them back into the water. I don't even know if that was a good idea. But when I set it back down in the water, some of its, uh, I don't even know what you call them, those like tentacle things were stuck on my hand and it started to burn. So then I had to wash my hand off, but it wasn't that bad of a, of a sting. But um, for this drawing, I decided I want to do kind of a series that will go with this drawing so it's going to be a bunch of different water related drawings so like things that live in the sea coral starfish stuff like that um, anything that has to do with water or the ocean or lakes or rivers fish just anything like that um, I'm going to do a bunch of drawings relating to that theme I just find that doing themes really helps me it helps motivate me because I want to create drawings that go with the theme rather than drawings that don't really go with each other. So instead of thinking, oh, what should I draw? I know I always have this in the back of my mind, like, oh, if I can't think of anything to draw, I'll just draw something that goes with my theme. And I'm actually working on an octopus one. So that'll probably be the next drawing in this series. And I find whenever I do watercolor drawings, um, that it looks kind of like I don't want to outline it in something really dark straight away because I want it to kind of have a softer look to it. So I'll outline it in pencil or maybe a, a pencil crayon. So for this one I used a blue Pilot Color Eno, which is basically a pencil crayon. It's like a mechanical pencil crayon. And uh, once I do the watercolor on top of it, then it's kind of lacking contrast and it looks a little bit messy and just not the way I wanted it to. But I always have to remind myself, once you outline it in a darker line um, outside of all the shapes and the hair and everything, um, it'll, it'll start to look better. And that's exactly what happened here. I was just thinking like, oh, this is not turning out. I don't like the way this is looking. But once you outline everything and just um, define all the shapes, and at least with this style, you don't always have to do it that way, but this is my technique for this painting. Once you outline everything with ink or pencil crayon or just something darker than the color that, um, that you use to, to color everything, as long as the outlines are darker than it, then um, 
once you're done with the painting, it'll have a nicer contrast than the work in progress as you're working on it. So I guess that's why they say never judge a work in progress because I know at the end of it, once I outline everything, it'll just look 10 times better. And uh, I think it did for this one. I was starting to lose hope with it as I was working on it. I was just thinking like, oh, this is not gonna turn out the way I wanted it to. But I'm actually kind of happy with the way it uh, it turned out. And with traditional art, that is really rare for me. I'm not very good at traditional art or at least coloring traditionally. Like I, I just find that I'm never truly satisfied with anything that I create traditionally, but um, I'm starting to sketch more and uh, I'm trying to fill a sketchbook and I'm trying to take my time more with traditional art because you can't really mess around as much as you can with digital art because digital art, you can correct any mistakes you make, paint over things multiple times, but with traditional art and especially watercolor, which is pretty unforgiving, you only really have one chance and you have to make that chance count. So that's why I like to be, I'm trying to be more careful and more meticulous about everything I do um, with my traditional art. And I'm sorry if some of these shots were kind of going off um, out of the frame. It, I found during this shot, just as I kept working on it, it kept moving closer and closer out of frame um, to like a kind of awkward way of looking at it. It's kind of an awkward view because it's all the way in the corner, but sorry about that. At least you get to see the palette and the drawing. Um, and I thought that there was something missing with the composition, so I went back in and added some blue to her skin, and that kind of just helped everything pull together really nicely, in my opinion. Um, I think it just made everything look a lot better, and it kind of brought the blue down into her skin from her hair, and I think it just really nicely balanced everything, so I'm glad I thought of doing that. I think it just made everything look so much better. And also, once I outlined everything with a, not everything, but like the places that needed a bit more of a highlight or a bit more of a lighter color with the white jelly roll gel pen, everything just started to look a lot better. And just, just keep that in mind whenever you're working on something. If it's not looking the way you want it to look, just, just see it through to the end and it might surprise you and it might turn out the way you envisioned in the beginning. And I was really pleasantly surprised with this drawing and I hope I can kind of do the same thing with the octopus one and all the other ones afterwards. I have a whole list of aquatic themed drawings that I want to do next. I've just always loved fish. I don't know, like not really eating fish. I do like to eat fish, like fish and chips are really good. But I mean like having fish in an aquarium and just uh, fish tanks and I don't know. I just like looking at them. They're just the way they just um, swim around the tank can just be mesmerizing sometimes. It's just, they're kind of hard to take care of, not hard to take care of, but you just gotta remember to take care of them every single day. And eventually it just gets away from me. And I don't know, it's a big responsibility having a fish tank, but I like drawing them. So I think that's all that matters. <laughs> Maybe in the future I'll get more fish, but I don't have any at this, at this point in my life. So here's the final drawing. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Um, I hope you enjoyed seeing the video. I'm going to do some more aquatic themed drawings here and there um, to go with the theme. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.